I hope you're all doing really really well welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video we have a home bargain tour today I have been shopping I have some new bits to share with you four bags full to be precise so if you want to see what I've got then make sure to get comfy get cozy get yourselves a nice yummy drink and snacks and I hope you guys enjoy this video okay so home bargains hear me out is one of my favorite videos to film i love a good bargain however it does take me the longest to film because they have no prices on anything and i like to give you guys the prices so i have to keep referring to the receipt after everything that i pick out the bag oh my god i've stopped my christmas shopping <laughs> oh my god and who is it for the first person that i have bought something for for christmas is now i know he doesn't watch my videos it's barney they had these little web box christmas boxes so i had to pick one up so it's official i have officially begun my christmas shopping let me know if any of you have purchased anything at all for christmas this year already and let me realize that i'm not alone so this is a cute little box of uh, some treats you've got some chomping chews of turkey and cranberry some tasty sticks and then a chew toy as well puppy friendly as well so just a nice little thing to go within his i'm gonna say stocking he's probably gonna end up getting a sack because he's my baby he's it's my first Christmas with him and it's very exciting. And this was only $2.99 for this as well. I actually bought this for him as well. It's not really festive, so I will give it to him now. And it's a little grey bone with a blue bee on for Barney, of course. And then on the other side, it's little polka dots in that same colour. They had the reverse as well. They had blue bones with the grey lettering and it's got a squeaker in there as well and these were only 99p you may realize there's absolutely no method to this i'm just grabbing the first bag and showing you everything <laughs> in no order so we have a cleaning product now this is from fabulosa this is a bathroom mousse i don't know if you can hear banging upstairs bathrooms are currently being fitted so i'm soon gonna need to clean it so i decided to pick this one up and give it a try so yeah, it's a bathroom mousse, good for taps, shower heads, tiles, toilets, baths and showers. And it's in the scent, this is what sold it to me more than anything. It's in the scent Woodland Pine. And how cute are the little illustrations on the front as well. This one was £1.49. I'm going to show you these two because they're quite big and probably could put them out of the way. But these cushions were actually in the garden section, the outdoor cushions section. Which, let me see if you can remove this cover. Okay, you can't remove this cover oh you can sorry you can there's a zip there at the bottom so they're quite big they're 59 by 59 centimeters what i loved about these is the fact that they're feather filled so to be honest with you i don't know if i'll use these outside i quite like them as indoor pillows if you're a chockable lover if that's important to you it is to me then um you'll probably like these honestly they're so soft and cozy i might actually put these on our sofa for now and then potentially when we move upstairs and we have our bedrooms back, either these on the bed as they are, or maybe get some cushion covers, 60 by 60 cushion covers. And yeah, I guess you could switch them out seasonally and essentially use this as the inner. Because they're 8 99 each, which for a good feather filled cushion of this size in itself is really nice. Let alone the fact that it does come with this beige cover. So yeah, picked up two of them. Outdoor in my case probably more likely indoor cushions these were an absolute steal i took a picture so i'll insert it on the screen because i can't remember the exact price but these retail for a lot more than what they sell for in home bargains and keep your eyes peeled for brands like this because often they'll just throw in the odd like big brand where you get a huge saving must be like end of line stock or previous season stock or something but anyway godiva chocolates are a bit of luxury so they had two items within the food section from godiva this one is a biscuit assortment you've got 20 different biscuits in there and then the other one is prestige biscuits collection so it's just a smaller box but these with my coffee bit of luxury at a bargain price of £2.49 for that and 99p for that and these were well over like 20 quid or something honestly mega saving this is the most random purchase but i blooming love cheese on toast it's honestly one of my favorite lunches dinners 
breakfasts. Liam Perrin's on top of cheese on toast. It's even more so a bit of me. So yeah, I just picked up some Liam Perrin's. Worcester sauce. Worcester sauce store sauce sauce. The time of the month, paracetamol. I did pick up some of the already diluted Zaflora spray. This is just a multi-purpose disinfectant spray. I decided to go for the Mountain Air one. They had some of the new scents like Cucumber and Mint, which I was tempted for, but this one is good for uh, removing pet odors, which obviously we have a pet. And this is a 1.99 for 800 mils. At only 99p, I picked up these little bamboo interdental brushes they're called they had two different sizes i just went for this smaller one replace brush every week or when bristles become worn so i'm trying to get into a flossing a lot more i'm i probably do it honestly three to four times a week when i've been advised by the dentist i should be doing every single day i feel like it's not really caught on culturally here in the uk to floss every single day let me know if you floss every single day because I'd be impressed if there is someone out there that does it every single day regardless of. And I'm not talking Americans, because it's normal out there. I'm talking Brits. Who flosses every single day? I don't. But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. I got one of these uh, cotton reusable bags. I've got a couple of these already, but I liked the size of this one. It's quite a big one. They had different colors as well. I think they had like gray and pink, maybe a blue, I can't remember, but I just opted for the like ecru plain natural color. Um, £1.49 for this size of this kind of a cotton reusable bag is actually really affordable. Can you hear the bathrooms being fitted? £1.19, really random price point, but I picked up this back exfoliating kind of strap. Belt, they call it, sorry. Exfoliating backwash belt. I'm getting a bit of a collection of these kind of bathroom products in this fi these fibres, these natural kind of textures. And I'm thinking of doing a bit of a, almost like a little DIY hamper of these kind of products for within a bathroom, whether it be my own, whether it be the guest bathroom, whether it be Tom's, I don't know yet. But these, um, they have loads of stuff like this in Home Bargain, so I might even pick up some more. But yeah, £1.19 that one was. Oh my god, I've got really bad pins and needles. <laughs> oh, I've been sat on my foot and I can't feel it. This has to be my favourite purchase. This next one, are you ready? So if you are a regular watcher and see my TK Maxx hauls, of all the kind of bobble-edged crockery that I have previously purchased, I found one in Home Bargains and it's a big serving platter which has again that kind of bobble detailing edging how nice is that so you could put some little dips in here some little tapasy bits mason cash this brand is that home bargains brand mason cash and mixing bowls oh they do their mixing bowls that i've seen yeah those kind of mixing bowls they do oh they've got some really cute dog bowls oh my god okay so it is selling on their website this exact one for £17.50. Just so you can see, the exact one, 37 centimetres, £17.50. I paid £3.99. £3.99 for something that is currently on sale on their website for £17.50. Anyway, moving on, I actually picked up two throws because if one isn't enough for the cosy autumn season, then pick up two. <laughs> so these are both $3.99 each. I just decided to pick up both because I couldn't decide which one to go for. Um, they are different though. This one is one of those kind of cozy, they call it ultra soft throw. And it's in a really pretty kind of grayish color. It's a really, really warm gray. Um, I use these more than anything just to throw over the sofa or even on Barney's bed just so that I can constantly interchange throws to avoid any pet smell. And then this one probably more likely for the sofa. Could even look really nice on this bed actually, or on a bed I should say. And it's this kind of woven tassel detailed cream throw. There are the dimensions and it's from that home collections range. So yeah, I really like this one. This is the one that I picked up first, but I just feel like he might prefer the cozy one. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> Hear me out. Uh, let me just explain myself. I, I'm not pregnant, but I saw these and it reminded me of ban the bandanas. I've got a few bandanas for Barney that he wears on his collar and it's the same size. 
So how cute would this be as a little bandana? You've got a star one. They're obviously designed for, and they're like bandana bibs for babies, two pounds for a set of three. But I just really like them and they're super, super soft as well. So you've got this white and gray star print. This one's predominantly gray with tiny, tiny white stars. And then this gray and white striped one. I find it really hard to find boyish bandanas for dogs. I just feel like there is a market for it. There are so many really cute Instagram brands that have quite feminine, girly colors, really pretty designs, but not too like boy friendly. I mean, I've got a couple of like blue ones that are nice, but I just thought the gray would look really nice. So gray and white, I picked that up too quick. I feel like I need to move on before I go any further. This was a sneaky little purchase that I've already opened. Obviously these snowy enrobed Oreos are my favorite. So that must be what that means. Bañadas Blanco. Snowy enrobed, because the English one always says snowy enrobed. Oh, I did pick up some clothing. Should I show you the clothing next? The first thing that I picked up from the clothing section was something that I've seen online on Instagram in a, uh, like a more of a nude brown color. I didn't see that color in the store that I went to, but I picked up the black and white version and they are dupes for the Zara bodysuits. So I do actually have the Zara bodysuit in both white and black. White in particular, I find gets makeup on it so quickly that it's more of a one-time wear kind of top. So I decided to pick up another white one and I thought, you know what, if I really like it, I'm gonna regret not getting the black as well. So I got them in a 10 to 12. They're six pounds each. I think the Zara ones are about 15 pounds. And honestly, they feel just the same. They're double lined. They're the same kind of cut on the bottom popper details as well they're like a cheeky style so they're not like a full brief but they're not a thong either so yeah i'm impressed with these i also picked up this set of pajamas that actually comes as a set which is kind of a little bit annoying because i would have liked to have sized up on the top and or would i it's still fairly oversized but anyway 10 to 12 i picked this one up in it comes with these cute little shorts and they have a sticker on it somewhere saying ultra soft and let me tell you these are ultra soft. They are so, so cozy. A real drawstring waist, so you can cinch in the waist, so 10 to 12, I'm sure will be perfect for me. And then the hoodie kind of top that comes with it, it's quite slouchy fit, again, super, super soft. Um, and it's 14 pounds for the set. And then I also picked up this set for, for Tom. He might not wear it, he might not like it. It's this two piece set of these kind of jersey, comfy lounge at home shorts, and then also the t-shirt. So I did get a large, cause that is what size I would get for Tom anyway. But he really lacks loungewear at home. He'll get home from work in jeans or trousers or whatever, and then he'll just chill in them. And I'm like, how can you chill in jeans? How can you put your feet up and watch a movie and chill on the sofa? In jeans i just don't get it it is 12 pounds for the set so hopefully he'll like them oh this is an exciting find so this is a lamp from the ports of call jeff banks range which have some really gorgeous homeware pieces you can kind of see on the image what it's like there it's like a rattan lamp on little gold legs i'm just gonna have to get it out aren't i what's the point of buying it and showing you it if i only just show you the cardboard box but i am going to keep it in the cardboard box for now because i want to save it for when we move upstairs i think it will look really nice in either the spare room i'm thinking or maybe tom's tom's room when i say tom's room if you watch the renovation vlogs you'll know exactly what i mean by that the loft space <laughs> i'm locking him away in the loft little gold stand gold legs which are subtle which I like. Whenever I get gold items, I try to avoid as much as I can real yellowy gold. And these are a really nice kind of brushed gold. So I love them. And this lamp was $12.99. I'm such a regular user of the Fairy Non-Bio. What's it called? Am I okay? Not washing powder. Fabric conditioner. That's what I mean. <laughs> Fabric conditioner. So I always use the Fairy Non-Bio. But I have... Discovered the Lenore Outdoorables not too long ago and ever since absolutely loved using this. So I interchange, but honestly, love this. It does run out pretty quickly though. I know it's ultra concentrated, so you need less. 
I use just as much to be completely honest with you. I think they are normally about £3 plus, but from Home Bargains, I think they're £1.49, let me see. £1.99 these ones are. I got two packs of these treats for Barney from a brand called Laughing Dog Teeth and Gums and these ones are sleep tight which I thought was so cute. There's no like added sugar, gluten free, all kind of natural ingredients in here. So the Teeth and Gums one has mint and parsley in it so nice and good for fresh breath and then the sleep tight ones which i just think is adorable baked biscuits to aid a good night's sleep which has chamomile in and also ginger love that these were one pound 49 each i got this set of makeup brushes again from that kind of bamboo range that they do in home bargains and this was only 2.99 for five brushes which i thought was so affordable really really nice and good uh, variety as well we've got some a foundation one which I think I'm actually going to use for like powder under my eyes because that's what I'm in need of when I saw that brush that's what sold me this in the first place and then obviously you've got powder and then some eye brushes as well so yeah I just thought that was really affordable for 2 dollars this was yet another item that I think I've got a photo of the RRP of because it is yet another branded item this is from the Vivo range which is a Vilroy and Bosch is it Vilroy and Bock? I can never remember or Vilroy and Bosch Anyway, part of that group, so really great quality products. This is a oven roaster, and it's a far more substantial oven roaster than some of my other ones, which are probably due to be bitten, to be completely honest with you. But anyway, this one was only $5.99. This is kind of a random but fun purchase. It's only $3.99, and I've never seen these in there before, but it's essentially a body wrap around towel so after you've got the shower you dried yourself off maybe you want to put on a fresh dry towel and maybe get ready you know do your hair and makeup but sat in a towel rather than getting into your outfit that's what this is for 3.99 i thought that was really good i also got this at 3.99 which is a bath mat now we do have a couple of bath mats i'm not gonna lie i've got a collection over the years but when we move upstairs, we're obviously moving from what was a two bed terrace with one bathroom to moving here and living without a bathroom to all of a sudden having three bathrooms. So it means more shopping for me. In my bathroom in particular, I do have a bath and I'm thinking of a really simple white bath mat. So some of the others that have got like bubbles or patterns on or anything, I just thought this was super minimal, classy quite thin it's just got a single border around the edging very white company and honestly it's perfect and it was 3.99 and it's always good to have a spare bath mat anyway so whilst light towels once you've got one in the wash you can have one out okay yet another brand that i managed to discover and yet again another great saving was this from nip and fab tan i don't believe i've ever tried their tanning products i thought you know what i'm gonna try it out i'm almost out of my filter by molly may which i've loved using and it is about 20 pounds this one again it retailed for over that so i thought i'm gonna try it out and maybe try a higher end brand but at a fraction of the price because this one was only 3.99 oh it's got glycolic acid in it which exfoliates the skin to ensure an even tan aloe vera for hydrating and soothing i need to tan now actually i'm feeling a bit pasty oh no that's it that's everything oh no one last thing and it's a christmasy thing Ooh, how exciting so they've got some of the limited edition christmasy scents starting to hit the shelves in the cleaning aisles and i picked up the febreze three volution refill in frosted pine this is my absolute favorite one that they do any kind of pine scent i'm all about if you remember last year i did a full clean with me video with all pine scented products so if you want a christmasy feel and a cleaning video to watch then maybe you could just catch up from last year and hopefully i can do another one again this year and it'll be more of the house as well it'll be all of the upstairs as well in fact i should do that before we actually move everything upstairs i should do a clean up there and film it and do a clean with me video because it's been a while so anyway, that is everything that I picked up from Home Bargains this time around. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, it would really help boost my channel if you do give this video a like. And also, if you are not already, do subscribe. Hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you are doing. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.